Thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's start with the basics. Unreal Editor for Fortnite runs on PC and is integrated directly with Fortnite, so you have access to over four years of content, all for free, to get you started. What's special about UEFN is what we call Live Edit. Live Edit allows anyone on your team to join a UEFN session from any platform that runs Fortnite. That means someone can join from a That's console so cool. using the normal Fortnite client, and they're able to work alongside and collaborate with PC users. UEFN has access to all Fortnite creative devices, our modular gameplay systems oh. that work in the in-game editor. This allows you to instantly add gameplay and quickly bootstrap your game from the hundreds of gameplay devices already available. Bro, the same features we use to create Fortnite, including the landscape editing tool set. You can edit the landscape to change the look of your island or make sweeping changes to create something completely new. Yeah, see, this is what I was talking and then about quickly earlier. Play it in game to check out the results. So even though you have access to tons of Fortnite content, with UEFN, oh, you can done, make so. content that looks nothing like Fortnite. This is a section from Forest Garden, what? a tech demo built in UEFN that we are launching today. A big feature of UEFN is the ability to import your own Yo! custom assets. So we used a few 3D models, textures, and materials that we built just for the project. And all the lighting in the cave was made possible thanks to Lumen, our real-time global illumination system. No way. You can also way. find more content like Quixel Mega Scans and Sketchfab models in our initial alpha no release of the Fab way. plugin for UEFN. All assets are curated and optimized for Chad, use. Chad, that's in Fortnite. Fortnite. And the full version of Fab will launch later this year. You can also create and modify materials, so you can change no the look way. and feel of objects easily. And you can import skeletal meshes oh. and then animate using sequences yes. and control rig. Everything you've just seen is available today in the public beta version of Unreal Editor for Fortnite. I want to see more, dude. I want to see more. You're going to be able to make custom live events. Yeah, basically. So it's a short video of just like the most condensed way we could show some of the like the more important workflows. But I think a much better way is to tempt fate. <laughs> and let's do a live demo on PC running on Fortnite public servers right here on stage. Uh, welcome, Michael and Ray, to the stage. Take it away. Yo, what? Please go well. Please go well. There's no way that's Fortnite. Stop lying. Oh my god, if that's Fortnite because those are the... What? <laughs> You're lying to me right now. That's fish stick. What? <laughs> You're literally lying. This is not Fortnite. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Literally what is going on? How is this possible? No way. No way. I'm glad that went well. All right. Hey, folks. So let's talk about how all this was made. Michael here has the scene open in Unreal Editor so we can take a closer look. For the environment, we built this level using Quixel Megascan assets, many of which are available in the Fab UEFN plugin. We also used custom Dude. content that we built just for this demo. For the gameplay you just saw, Dude. we, ha we hand-placed enemies using a creative device called a guard spawner. Which Dude, the they're using that you saw guard spawners in this. However, we wanted to do more and introduce dynamic play that goes this beyond what current too. creative devices can do. So to do this, we used our new programming language called Verts. So in this short section of code, every second, we grab the position of the player. And for each spawn location, we then calculate the distance to the player. And if it's within a certain threshold, we tell that guard to spawn into the level. Oh, so now okay. we have gameplay that's more reactive to the player's actions. This is just a short example of using Verse, but for a deeper dive, check out the Verse Tech Talk later today. Now, Michael is going to show us how we put the intro cinematic together. Hi, everybody. So before the gameplay section, we played this quick cinematic uh, animation. This was actually created entirely in UEFN using sequencer. That's so cool. Sequencer is our multi-track editor and it's been used in everything from in-game cinematics to Hollywood feature films. So let's take a look. Uh, and now oh, all the stuff I'm so is excited. Right inside UEFN. So let's take a look at this last shot from a slightly different perspective. 
So the other thing we featured in this section was a bunch of Niagara. Niagara is now available in UEFN, and it's our uh, high-end VFX system. So, uh, and just like in the movies, you, get, you can frame up shots and have great effects. So what we're going to do here is just... Chat, I, if up. I can port my model and make it twerk in UEFN, I just so you know, it's it's happening. Better, right? <laughs> so this is just a sampling of some of the stuff that you can do inside Sequencer. But let's get back to the game. All right, so now that we're back in the game, in UEFN, you have access to Fortnite's time of day system. Or you could use what we did and do what we did and use a completely custom lighting solution. And thanks to Lumen, both daytime and nighttime look great. Now, let's go Dude, to the final gameplay section what? and close out the demo. But as a reminder, Healy. everything that you're seeing here was created in the same version of UEFN that we're releasing today. Uh, what? Been here and help you, right? I'm all for that. <laughs> Not a Mac. Yo. What? 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 No way. No way. No way! <laughs> no actual way. That, this is so sick. What is going on? Bro. Yo! What? My PC is like exploding looking at this. Rocket launcher. It's so weird. Dude. Michael and Ray, anyone, to, everybody that put this together. The, the, the demo came about when we asked the special projects team inside Epic that came straight off the Matrix de demo to why don't you put UEFN through its paces? And one amazing fact about this demo is that it's less than 400 megs, it downloads and plays in less than a minute, and what? it plays on any platform that Fortnite runs on. What? Like, that is the promise of what UEFN is. What? So again, on Real Edit of Fortnite is available today in public beta in Epic Game Store. You want an early glimpse of some other technical showcases that our internal teams made uh, with UAFN and Verse. Check out Deserted Domination, Forest Guardian, and The Space Inside. All three are available to play right now in Fortnite Discover. So we've talked about brand new tools and the Fortnite ecosystem. Now I want to yes. talk about the next generation of Fortnite's economy. I'm excited for this chat. Epic and creators will if they say they're getting rid of support a creator, I literally die as a content creator. Here's how it works. The money in the economy comes from player spending in the item shop. Fortnite generates billions of dollars a year in revenue from player purchases. Fortnite Could players you who have fun engaging in islands tend to spend more in the item shop. Creators who make popular islands are bringing real value to the Fortnite ecosystem, and we're going to share the resulting revenue with them. This is oh. the engine powering a creator economy 2.0. We believe this so strongly we will distribute 40% of Fortnite's global net revenue wow. to eligible creators who publish games in Fortnite, both independent developers and Epic. Anything we make, wow. like Battle Royale, Zero Build, also participates in the pool shared with creators. This will be the primary way that Epic will pay for our own game development in Fortnite going forward. This is transform. <sighs> Glad you feel it's a big deal, and I, I feel it's a big deal. So, so. Um, this, is, this is transformative and a big gut check for us, too. We imagine thousands of third-party development teams building businesses and thriving yep. with this model. Payments from the pool are based on performance of your island. 
we take into account data like island popularity, engagement, retention, attracting new players. And the benefit of this new approach is rooted in player fun and rewards everyone's creative work, both yours and Epic's. There's no need to design cunning monetization <laughs> loops or extractive gating items. You make an island the players love, that is all you need to be part of the new economy. Creator Economy 2.0 is live right now. What? For eligible creators who are currently publishing, we are backdating the engagement payout to the beginning of this month. Oh, shit. For more details, shit. to sign up, go to create.fortnite.com. Everything you've seen today represents Epic's biggest bet ever, the release of advanced tools that publish directly into Fortnite on PC, console, mobile, and cloud, lowering the barrier for developers to be part of one of the biggest entertainment ecosystems. He said they're backdating it a month, future, which means like people are going to get a payout. By its creators, where developer earnings are a function of fun, and where ecosystem can be directly linked through community language standards like Verse. To support, to support developers who adopt UEFN, we're broadening the Epic Mega Grants program to help teams bootstrap projects that use UEFN and Verse. I love Epic Games, dude. I love started, Epic Games, dude. And we hope that you'll join us and help shape the future of development. Now we're going to give you a look at what UEFN can do right inside Fortnite. Yes. After the video, Tim is going to come back out to talk about Epic's future vision. Thank you very much. Yo, oh my god. Look at oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. This was so, this cinematic and like gameplay was whoa. Oh my god, there's so much to unpack here. Infinity Blade! Dude, uh It looks so good. <laughs> 